If you're struggling to come up with content ideas, this free tool tells you exactly what people are searching for on Google. Introducing Answer Socrates, which is a tool that me and Jamie, my business partner, actually just purchased. We got some massive improvements coming up for the tool. So I'm going to explain the new improvements and how the tool currently works. So it logically groups short and long tail keywords. People also ask keywords using Google autocomplete as well. So you can group question keywords and buyer intent keywords. And I'm going to, at the end of this video, I am going to give you a free Google sheet, which explains, well, which basically helps categorize this even better than what it's already categorized. So let me show you how it quickly works. So at the moment I'm set up in Singapore and it shows me the trends in Singapore. But let's just change this to the United States. And then it would give me the trending topics also in the United States, but we are going to use this for keyword research. So let's just type in paddle here. As you can see, it's really quick. We've got the people also ask questions here, some Google trends data there. And then if we scroll down, we've got hundreds of different question queries. So it can help you quickly find thousands of different questions, which can be used for, uh, used for a blog, used for e-com sites, used for social media, YouTube videos, whatever you really want. So it's really easy for finding a topically related um, keywords, basically, and content ideas. So we've got hundreds of different ideas there. What you want to be doing now is just export this to a CSV. And then you can upload this to a Google Sheet and then do this special, use some regex code to actually make it even more valuable. So if we just close this, okay. So I'm going to give you a free invite to the conversion collective. So we have got a free zone where this answer Socrates filter code is there. And it is also in this post here. So let me just click on this post and just explain how it works. So it's basically a Google Sheet which will also give you like top of funnel, bottom of funnel, uh, middle of funnel labels, as well as location labels. And this is the regex code here. So all you got to do is click on this. It will make a copy of the sheet. And then this is the regex code, which you can literally just copy and paste into your own projects to quickly help with the filtering. So as you can see, these are all the keywords we exported here. And it has bottom of the funnel there, because this is what paddle racket should I buy? We've got a question query there. Let's go down. So we have got a location because it's saying London there and a local query. And it's basically just categorized to help with these sort of content. So it has easy filtering anyway with the questions and the modifiers, but this just basically helps it and takes it to the next level. You can also use this filtering for uh, Google Search Console. So if you export your data, you can also use this and just change the uh, keyword column there and then you get all the data set up okay so that is the sheet and the community to join to get the free sheet and we also have other downloadables there let me just show you a few here so free downloads we've got calculators and stuff and uh, tools basically free sops as well here and some other cool things there so uh, you'll be able to get all this for free in there let me just show you a nice example here because obviously we purchased the tool and wanted to find what users have been doing with the tool. And this was a cool post. So they got 290,000 views, nearly 300K views on a YouTube video using keyword research from Answer Socrates. And if you check the video out now, it's got over 700,000 views. So it's just a nice, easy, free keyword research tool to get content ideas and to use this for social media. A few things what we are going to do to upgrade this. So we are going to add recursive searches, recursive keywords. So you know other SEO tool currently does this. It's taken a bit of obviously working out how to do this properly. And we're also going to implement AI because of course we're going to implement AI. But with AI, we're going to optimize these more for social media content. So you can actually use them uh, in a cleverer, more of a titled way for TikTok videos, Pinterest, Facebook posts to basically get more views on the content rather than just a standard, like what paddle racket to buy, it will be more tailored to social media. And we got plenty of other upgrades coming along. So that was a quick overview of the tool and some of the improvements, what we're going to be doing to it. Let me know in the comments how you've used this tool before and what improvements you think we should make to it. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video.